Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Moon Pressure Let's Plays. My name is Hecto, and today we will be continuing with Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Complete Edition Hacker's Memory Episode 11. Wow, it always surprises me how long the title is. Okay, yeah, last time we started on this little major side quest here where we need to find Rico's missing sister together with the K-Cafe owner, whose name we still have not gotten. I mean, Satchan has a name, so why doesn't the K-Cafe owner? Ah, anyways, we are here right now and we'll hop right to it. Is this the elevator you took? Yeah. Then let's get in. You monitor the elevator control system. What did you do next, Rico? Um, we pressed the fourth floor button. You or your sister? Sorry if the quality is a little bit lacking today as well. I am still somewhat sick. And so yeah. I probably caught a virus on, a, on my business trip to Berlin, so yeah. I tried to, but she did it. What do you mean? We need to recreate the exact conditions. I wanted to press it, but I couldn't reach it, and accidentally pressed the second and third floor buttons. Okay, so uh, all of them were pressed at the same time. Then my sister cancelled them. Question mark? It's impossible to cancel a button once it's been pressed. Different elevators have different ways of doing it. You can cancel a button by pressing it three times. My sister's friend told her how to do it. Okay. <laughs> it's like a cheat code in a game. Interesting, isn't it? After I accidentally pressed the second and third floor buttons, my sister cancelled them, so pressing them three times, and pressed the fourth floor button. Do you me remember which order she cancelled them in? She did the second floor one first. Wow, surprisingly good memory there. Press the third, and then the second. Then the second floor three times. Then the third floor three times. And finally, the fourth floor. And good thinking on the K-Cafe owner's part here to, to, like, pay attention to such minutia. So, yeah. This is what happened last time. It's lights out. Looks like it worked. The elevator's moving. It stopped. How's the elevator control system looking? An error? There's definitely something strange going on. We might have hit the jackpot. Jackpot? Oh, nothing. I wonder where we are. Proceed with caution. The lights are on, but there's no one here. First dance, it looks exactly like the fourth floor it just came from, but something about it doesn't feel quite right. It was pitch dark last time, but this feels just like when my sister disappeared. I see. So you and your sister were exploring this floor when you encountered the dog at Kate Cafe. Yeah, there was no one around, just like now. It was so scary. Don't worry. We're here with you this time. Kasky, I'm intrigued to know what's going on in K-Cafe, but let's investigate this floor first, just like Rico and her sister did. Let's go to the arcade and back. Come on, Rico. Yay, confronting little girls with their trauma is tight. There they are. <laughs> yeah, are we in the back rooms? 
I can hear the fluorescent lights buzzing in the in the background. Do you hear it as well? Yeah. <laughs> Let's look over here. No, okay, no, there's nothing here. Okay, Rico. There's not a single person. Just like when I was here with my sister, all we could hear was the sound of our own footsteps. Is there something back here? No, there's not. Sad. <laughs> it would have been crazy if there was just this little kid that's hiding here uh, and, and was like, Yeah, I've been here for like three days and no one has found me. <laughs> uh, it's so strange. This place is usually bustling with people, but now it's completely deserted. It looks like exactly the same situation as when Rico came with her sister. Casey, let's head for K Cafe. Jesus Christ, what was that? <laughs> Holy. Okay, seems like there's a murder ongoing. Anyways, that was no dog barking. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we know what this is. It's probably Digimon, and this is a fake floor created by the Digital Wave, but still, let's look and see what that terrifying howl was. It sounds like it came from K-Cafe. Did you hear something like a vicious dog howling? Did it come from my cafe? Did you hear that sound coming from the cafe? It's the dog from last time! You think this is a dog? <laughs> what is wrong with you people? It sounds like an Eldritch, Eldritch Vendigo or something. The door won't open. What's going on? Shall I smash it? Please do it. Stand back, Rico. Okay. Okay, violence is always the answer. Yep. <laughs> what the? This isn't K Cafe. Gasp. Gesticulating. Cyberspace? How could we be in cyberspace without logging in? Let's keep going. We have to find Rico's sister. You lead the way. Keep your wits about you. Yo, I mean props. Jesus Christ. Props for K-Cafe owner for being on the ball here. He's surprisingly competent for all the, uh, the crap Sachin is always giving him. Okay, nothing. Yes, there is! We got a sand guard. Hmm, anything over here? Nope. Okay, in that case, let's hop on here. And up we go. Or no, down we go. It's a downwards elevator. Holy hell! Mm, okay, Kudamon asks, listen up, including reserves, up to how many Digimon can you have in a party? I think... Either 9 or 12, right? Can we actually look? No, neither, okay. I thought we had like, 4 rows of 3, but we don't. We have 11, okay. In that case, Kudamon, yeah, it's 11. I mean, I cheated, but... Hmm. Okay, and Sangalutmon is ahead, so you are the culprit. I don't remember it being so terrifying the last time we had an on our party. Oh, farm development kit, nice. Anything here? Nope, no shinies. Wait, can we? Yeah, we can accelerate. Let's try it. Yeah, we're booking it! Here we come! Eek! What is that? Grrr. More intruders! I can't get a moment's peace! It's the dog from the last time! 
Where's my sister? Let her go! Did you bring them here? If you insist on disturbing my sleep, I'll put you to sleep like that other human! Okay, so her sister's dead? Ah, she's probably just asleep, as he said, but... <laughs> hmm, okay... Who are you even? You are a virus type, which means this constellation is what we'll get. Hmm. Could try to poison him. Yeah, let's try. Why not? Miss. Okay, light damage should be extremely effective. Hmm. Actually, kind of tanky. Okay. Yeah, nice! I love it when status effects work. Coincidentally, it's one of the reasons I like Chained Echoes a lot. In the combat system, all status moves are always allowed on all bosses. So, yeah. Really opens up your repertoire. Mm -hmm. Okay... Holy light, Divine Pierce. Now let's go for more damage and 100% accuracy. It's worth it. Okay, Ramon. Still angling for the poison here. Now let's look and see what we can do. No poison. Okay, he blocks poison. At least we know now. Oh, evasion. And more speed? Oh no. Sister Montblanc could be a VTuber, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh no, it's starting, he's getting double turns. Seems to be a good pick for heal duty in the future here, if it comes to that. Phantomon is looking kinda hurt. Sticker blade. Ouch. But I think Phantomon can still tank with one hit. <laughs> Gaia element, and let's go. Surprising amount of damage for Tentamon here. I mean, he is at level 22, so yeah. That's part of it, I guess. No, we even miss it a hundred percent. Damn your dodge buffs and my inability to remove them. You only prolong the inevitable, son Glutmon. Oh, should have picked Mark Rush. Mark Rush always hits. Anyways. 
get gobbled up by our trash monster. Uh, how could I use? Where's the girl's girl, sister? Did you eat her? Why would I eat a human? If you're talking about the intruder, she's asleep over there. She was so annoying, I had to put her to sleep. Since you've defeated me, I'll let you take her. She should wake up when she leaves. I see. You seem reasonable enough. Let me ask you something else. Did you create this floor? Why does it exact look exactly the same as our fourth floor? Fourth floor? I don't know what that is. This place has always looked like this. Oh, is it part of Pete's realm? You know the, the Wanyamon we had in the last game? Because Wanyamon was a cat that was locked into Nakano building on, upon construction and was living in a digital space of Nakano in, in some server that was, yeah, inside of the walls. So, maybe it's the same thing here? I was originally in Eden, but suddenly found myself here one day. But this place isn't like Eden. I don't like it. I wanted a comfortable bed, so I modified this area to look like Eden. I did quite a good job, don't you think? So it wasn't you who made this place look just like our fourth floor. Hmm, I see. Really, Sanglubmon, this is more appealing to you than a cafe? It's just so unorganized. It's just... Yeah, geometric shapes. Uh, I mean, Sanglupmon is a Digimon, so maybe they have different preferences than humans. But I don't think this is homely at all. I don't know what you're talking about. I thought I'd be able to sleep here in peace, but humans keep barging in and disturbing me. This place doesn't belong to me? Hmm, so what should I do? Yeah, I don't know. Nah, ceiling of this floor would just lock some Gloopmon in here, so you should leave this place. Yeah, I think so too. This is also for your own good. For my own good? Hmm, now I really don't know what you're talking about. But I don't need you to tell me to leave. I can't get any peace here. I want to go. If I knew how to get out of here, I would have left by now. You can take me to Eden if I go into your terminal? That would be great. I wanted to go back to Eden for so long. I leave that to you. Oh, just one more thing. Another one? Go on then. Sorry for disturbing your sleep. First you want to get rid of me and now you're apologizing? I can't figure you out. Anyone would be irritated at having their sleep disturbed. I know exactly how you feel. Oh, such a back lore. <laughs> hmm, you're very strange. Okay, now get me out of here. Gulp. All right, I think we're done here. I don't know what will happen to this space now that he's gone. Let's get her sister back to the real K-Cafe. And just hope that no one presses that exact button combination again. Did you get it back to Eden? That's good. Her sister's resting inside. She should probably go to the hospital later, just to be on the safe side. Okay, I'll go with her when she wakes up. I'm still not sure what exactly happened. As far as I understand, Miko's sister strayed into a strange place created by a dog-like monster, is that right? It's not quite that simple. How do I explain it? Question mark? There's a rumor that this building has a magical 3.5th floor, 
between the third and fourth floors. Huh? I always take the stairs. I've never seen anything like that. That's what makes it so strange. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. Yeah, who knows what those dastardly architects hid in this building. If they can brick up a cat inside a wall, then what else could there be? What do you mean? There are a lot of urban legends about places that look like the real thing, but are slightly different. Uncanny Valley, yay. According to the stories, those places sometimes exist, and sometimes do not. If someone inadvertently enters such a place while it exists, what do you think will happen to them once it disappears? They vanish! Exactly. There have been tales about such strange phenomena in Nakano for a long time. The 3.5th floor legend also started in Nakano. That strange creature, is that the right word, that dark like monster, as Satsan put it. It must have inadvertently strayed into the 3.5th floor, while it was temporarily accessible. When it was unable to leave, it changed the K-Cafe area into a bed where it felt comfortable. But then Riku and her sister unintentionally found themselves on the 3.5th floor. Why are you telling us this? We have literally just lived through it. When her sister entered its bed, it got irritated and put her to sleep. That's how she went missing. So Riku's sister- Why is Riku calling Riku's sister Riku's sister? So Riku's sister and that dog might have disappeared if they stayed there? It's possible! Be traumatized! Luckily, we made it in time. But why help that dog-like monster? It never meant any harm. It just put her to sleep. It didn't hurt anyone. It was just another victim of the 3.5th floor. There was no reason to help Rico's sister and not help it. Would you come and rescue me if I got trapped on the 3.5th floor? Huh? That would never happen. Seriously? You'd help the dog monster thing, but not me? Huh. I'm so hurt. You should pay me compensation for pain and suffering. I didn't mean that. It came out wrong. It's impossible to get to the 3.5th floor now. That's what I wanted to say. What do you mean? Keisuke looked into it for me. There was an error with the control system when we pressed the buttons in a certain order. It sent a signal that would usually never been sent. Oh, nice aftercare. That's right, isn't it? I suspect it's the abnormal signal that caused the 3.5th floor to appear. Riku and her sister just so happened to press the exact sequence of buttons to send the signal. So it would end up on the 3.5th floor if I press the same buttons? Don't worry. KSK has fixed the elevator control system, so it won't happen again. He's an excellent hacker. I mean... You could have just left it there. I mean, what would be the chances for someone to press exactly that combination? It was quite complicated. So... Yeah, it would have been some nice escape slash storage space to, to have. Uh, on the other hand, if the K-Cafe owner is right in saying that it would just randomly disappear, then... Yeah, it's probably better this way. That's a relief. Lucky, I won't need to pay any compensation now. But this isn't over yet. What was that 3.5th floor? Why did, why did it look exactly like the 4th floor? Probably digital waves and timey-wimey stuff. How could humans and the dog-like monster from Eden get trapped there? And why was that monster able to change the space? I just don't get it. Ask Suido. This world is full of mysteries, Satchan. That doesn't explain anything. That's not good enough. We should just be glad that Rico's sister is safe and well. I'm tired. All I want to do now is sleep. Thank you. Thank you all for rescuing my sister. 
No need to thank us. My boss only got involved to satisfy his curiosity. No, he was actually the MVP. Not gonna lie. Yeah. She's right. I'm just glad everyone's okay. Including that dog thing. Rico's sister's TM voice. Huh? Where am I? Rico? Oh, she's awake. I'm coming, sis. I think I just try to forget about all this. Three times fifth floor stuff for now. Why would you want to forget? It was a memorable ex experience, right? Something to tell your grandkids? I, I mean, okay. Considering KCafe owner's game, he'll probably never have grandkids. But that's beside the point. Like, why would you just discard an important memory like this? Uh, sometimes I just don't get people. Really? How can you leave so many questions unanswered? I don't care about that. I know basically what happened. I don't think anyone will ever know the full truth about the 3.5th floor. Although it wouldn't be... I wouldn't be adverse to investigating similar phenomena in the future if the opportunity ever arises. I think a mystery or two makes Nakano a much more interesting place. I agree. That's the reason why I work here. Despite the low pay. With how many compensations you manage to wheedle out of the K-Cafe owner, I don't imagine the pay is quite that low as you say. It's always about the pay with you. Okay, some decal on the elevator. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so someone is still using the elevator, despite us fixing it. Hmm. Foreshadowing? I mean, it was one of the important quests, so I imagine it is one that we will pick up upon later. Once again. Hmm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. That quest was actually kind of neat. I mean, the conclusion was just, as always, it's Digimon, but... At least for the dog. But still, yeah. What do we have here? Farm training is complete, and... No, it doesn't scare me. Hmm. Nobody here? Okay. In that case, let's report. Use the PC. And BBS. Case completo! Disappearing elevator, and we got friendship.